Yeah, good day YouTube. This is Kenneth Wright from Villa Vibe Production. This is actually my first tutorial and what I'm going to teach you guys is how I make a reggae beat in Studio One Three. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you. I use the MT Power drum kit it's actually a free drum kit i'm going to add the link in the description below so if you guys like how it's sounding you can go and check it out i use that for it's like a go-to drum kit for me i use it most of the time i also for like the rhythm section i use the the expand tool and for my bass I use the mod bass that gives the beat a live reggae feel you know so I normally like to start with like a card progression you know so I'm going to go to my expand now and go let me see where I could find a nice piano. So, yeah, piano hardly is, is a good piano. You can, you know, depends on the style or the feel of reggae you are going for. Yeah, so this is a nice piano. So I'll normally bring the game down. The tempo most reggae beat are like they range from say 60 to around 19 tempo but I personally I like to go from around I normally like to start my beats between 70 and 80 I don't normally go over that that's my preference personally so I'm going to set the tempo right here to around, let's try 76, see what kind of vibe that is giving. not bad I think I'm going to take it down to around 74 see if I could think of which progression nice progression Just gonna keep it simple. Just a two card reggae in the key out. So you see, this can be B flat. Yeah, so it's in the key of it. I'm starting on the second card, which is the G minor. So I'm going to start the beat with that kind of groove and see where I take it from there. That's enough. You could just hit Q on your PC because I'm using a laptop I'm not sure which button you would do on the Mac but for shortcut quantize I just hit Q and check to see if I like how it's sounding where tempo or you know, timing is concerned
Okay, so that's a good start. I think I'm gonna bring down the tempo even a little bit more for this type of radio beat. So I'm gonna take it to 72. Let's see how that sounds. So I'm like, you know, that sounds, I'm getting a little bit of CPU issue, so maybe I'm going to check my settings and see if I could bring down the buffer size. This is better now. Okay, so yeah, I think it was on not really a buffer size, but it was like 32 bit float. I took it down to 24. So if you are having that issue when using OBS and Studio One, you could take that into consideration to fix the problem. So the next thing I do is add the bass. again to get it all lined up and then timing and the proper timing with the, the piano and the in Jamaica we call it the bang sounding oh, so what I personally like to do I like to go even a little bit deeper in the edit to get the right feel of the bass note because I am a keyboardist who plays in a lot of band so I, I tend to look for a certain feel in my bass especially in the radio a lot of people would just leave it here but I tend to go a step further and just get the feel I am personally looking for so I extend some of the notes sharp some as if trying to get it as close to life as possible
sustain to this note right here. Yeah, so I'm okay with that. The next thing I do I I add my my rim knock or if I'm gonna use an open snare I do that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna do this snare for this particular beat. this cue here with everything in correct tempo or correct timing name your tracks or the instrument you use it makes it easier especially when bouncing it out mixing it in another door or something like that sending it to our engineer or you know producer or anybody who wants to work with it or whoever depends uh, from the one you have so that Don't really have to do it in this particular order you know whichever order you you are most comfortable with you know? don't feel like you have to do it one set way or it's just that way or no other way just do what is or uh, what you are comfortable with
this skill again. sounding good to me all right um, next i'm going to just rename this this is my kick next this is going to be my hi hats all right so Bear in mind also that this drum is touch sensitive, so the harder you press it, the more sustained it will sound. Sorry about that. So let's see how it sounds. Yeah, I'm loving it so far. So next thing I would maybe add an organ or you know some other different instrument. Just for 
Let's try this one. Just keeping it simple and nice here. feeling like a, maybe a nice piano phrase or a string so I'm going to pull up my expand tool right here and yeah and I can use the same uh, I'm going to try the natural grand piano to see how that sounds if that's the vibe I'm I just like to go in and tweak the notes, give it the feel that you know I want. Don't really just quantize and leave it there. Then I extend a few of these notes. That's a good note. Perfectly aligned with that. sustain to the piano and let it flow better
Also can be the phrase for the chorus. So next is in the yeah, I like to you know add a little bit of sustain in my radio tracks here. Another piano, but this piano is going to just be in the background holding everything together. So I'm going to use an electric piano now. Use a different piano. I like how that is sounding, but it's not the right one for the feel I'm going for. This one as well, but not really. Let's try this one. Points we are getting somewhere so far, you know. All right. Next, now we had the crash. this one because it would be like you know the intro coming into the verse or the chorus I'm not sure what I'm going to start this beat with as yet I'm just trying to get all the stems together in one 
one section and then I can place them out and delete what I want and what I don't want for that particular section afterwards. No, I want an uh, intro now. I just need Yeah, just just a simple simple thumb roll. some highlights before that to start the count in some cases I would use like the, the stick knock sounding so far so I just I think I'm just gonna add one maybe just like you know a strings or maybe another acoustic guitar so I'm gonna add my expand I love this plugin it's like my go-to plugin even reggae dance or trap any drama so in love with this plugin right here
is that one. Just name it before I go into anything else. Let's see, GTA, GTA, there you go. I like no name in things short, so as I look on my mixer, I can see what it is right away. For guitar, I normally use GTR, I add just HTS, electric piano, EP, and so forth. I like doing that because you know I can look on the mixer right, that, right away and see which instrument it is. Alright, so. Sorry. Alright. Yeah, that sounding pretty good to me. Yeah, basically that's like eighty percent of the the beat right here. So what I'm going to do now is just come up here and select all of this right here. And just duplicate them. Duplicate. Alright. Change this right here into seconds where I can see how the time how long the beat is. guys this is just a simple you know you can get more technical with it maybe add different cards but just for the sake of this tutorial i'm just keeping it simple so all the professionals out there you know, please bear in mind that i could make it as complex with more cards a lot of changes different style but i'm just keeping it simple for the sake of this tutorial so please bear in mind. So we're now creating the initial. So I don't like 
especially for my reggae beats and you know you can make it for this particular beat I don't want the kick of the intro I want it to start the intro like a smooth R&B way I'm going to remove the bass as well and maybe what I do I'm just going to play some sustained note in the bass for the intro I'm going to remove the piano right here as well let me see now where is the sound yeah I'm going to remove the snare as well and also the phrase piano phrase now I can remove the metronome because I don't really need it anymore. to do like an 8 bar intro so I'm going to take the kick away from it so let's let me see now I'm going to also remove this thumb from right here make it be a little bit more interesting Uh, 
intro a little bit more interesting we can also add like another intro piano phrase right here let's see I think we can start it in this octave. Yeah, I'm going to start with the higher octave first. remove the organ from there so you know the lower octave of the piano could come through a little bit better <laughs> It's like one time roll, you can just, you know, improvise on that for all the beginners, you know, wanting a little bit of variation. Alright, so we're gonna just go here with the extended diameter a little bit. Stop. Put 
with right in front so this would be like a double roll going into the verse yeah so instead of using the same you know the same roll or so or variation you could just add just improvise on it for all the beginners out there and also a lot of the time I, I use it as a professional as well if a drummer is playing so you know a drummer only has two hands so I'm going to remove this right here and play with it add some of those stuff Just play around with your instruments, you know. Get your own personal twist to it. But this is how I do it at times, day in day. Out. This section I think I'm going to you know play with the organs a little bit to get a little variation in it even though it's a simple two 
subscribe reggae you don't want it to sound too monotonous Just play your own and have fun with it, you know. Yes, he's trying to help me out, but no more, not that note at all. Alright, gonna just quit quantize. Hmm. Take that part up, uh, out of it. And just duplicate that and hear how it sounds in the mouth. snare out of this part you know to create as much variation as possible So, you know, just add that snare right there, right before the thumb, could create a different uh, roll going into the, the chorus. not bad but I think I'm going to take out one of the snare yeah I think I like that one better original snare
beads you know don't really like for it to pass say four minutes sometimes three minutes thirty seconds even less than three minutes but in this case I'm gonna make it like three minutes and some seconds is easy you know you don't really have to be precise on making the course sound exactly the same way all the time because I'm just going to take this guitar out of the, the, this course or this section of the course rather organ out as well also I'm going to take the piano out as well to see how that will sound called dick session this section right here the dub wise section where you're only going to hear the drum and bass so i'm going to take out the, the ep from this section so it's just going to be drum and bass for this section section I'm going to add a little more variation going into the chorus because this is going to be the last chorus so let me see what I can do here Let's do that again. 
let's leave the queue a little more time. Let's see how that is sounding now. And there you go, that's about it, you know. For this beat, we have a fully completed reggae beat right here. And you don't really, you hear a lot of different types of beat on your radio or television. As a beat maker, you have to just be creative. It's just look at it as a work of art you know you're painting your own picture so you don't really have to do what you hear others are doing
there you go guys so thanks for watching please remember to like share and subscribe to this channel and this is the first of many more tutorials on beat making also mixing also the type of gear i'm using and all those fun stuff so see you in the next video bye bye